following our coverage tonight of the EDD fraud accusations by the city of Arvin against their mayor Olivia Trujillo and former council member Gabriela Martinez. 23 ABC has received copies of the letters the city sent to the EDD accusing both of them of fraud. 23 ABC's Kristen Vartan confirmed this information with the city of Arvon's interim city manager and has more. These two documents signed by the former city manager of the city of Arvin say that the city has reason to believe that the former city council member Gabrielle Martinez, as well as the current city of Arvin mayor Olivia Trujillo may have committed unemployment insurance fraud. This is what the city had to say. The city council takes this matter extremely seriously and is investigating the issues. It's been a problem impacting California since the early stages of the pandemic. Now leadership in Arvin is dealing with it after interim city manager Jeff Jones confirmed with 23 ABC that Mayor Olivia Trujillo has been accused of EDD fraud by the city of Arvin. The city took steps to, de to determining the validity of that claim. The city is continuing to investigate this matter and will do so until such a time as action may be taken based on the results of the investigation. And why it's being taken so seriously, letters from the city signed by former city manager Richard Breckenridge in May says that Trujillo has never been unemployed during her time as an elected official, but has never been an employee of the city since her only payment coming in the form of a stipend she receives as an elected official. The letter also claims she applied for unemployment benefits around March of 2020. Through a public records request, 23ABC received a copy of a letter from the EDD sent to the city of Arvin about benefit charges made under Trujillo's name. Another letter to the EDD from Breckenridge in May protesting the, quote, charges incurred from claimant Olivia Trujillo, end quote. The letter going on to say that the, quote, provision of unemployment benefits to a local elected official is specifically forbidden by law, end quote. This is strictly a matter between the city and the employment, employment development department at this time. We have not reached out to law enforcement. Another letter from Breckenridge also says that the city has reason to suspect that former city council member Gabriela Martinez may have committed insurance fraud, similarly being neither unemployed during her time as an elected city official nor employed with the city ever. According to the letter, Martinez applied for unemployment insurance benefits in January 2020. Have anything to say about the one for Miss Martinez? Uh, no, no, she's a former council member. Her term expired a few years ago. No, I have no comment on that. And of course, this story is developing and we'll have more information for you as soon as it comes into our newsroom. At the city of Arvin, Kristen Varchon, 23 ABC News, connecting you. And we reached out to Olivia Trujillo, but have not heard back at this time. We also reached out to Martinez and have also not heard back.